Welcome back. As COVID continues to spread, it also continues to mutate. And there are some new ones on the scientific radar experts are keeping an eye on. Our senior health correspondent Monica Robbins explains. We've watched the COVID-19 virus mutate dozens of times, and it's no surprise it continues to do so. It's also no surprise that it keeps getting more sneaky and more infectious. Its goal is to survive and spread. For the last few weeks, we've watched our cases, hospitalizations, and death rates fall. But winter is coming, bringing cold, flu, and COVID season. While the Omicron variant BA5 is still the main spreader, two new ones, BQ1 and BQ1.1, are coming in hot. Those variants are circulating in Europe. They've already reached us and became 11% of U.S. cases in just a month. About 20% of cases in New York and New Jersey are the BQ variety, likely because of international travelers into those states. The concern is BQ1.1 is believed to be the most immune evasive variant, meaning if it continues to spread, it might be the next wave, according to experts. It also means that our monoclonal antibody treatments against it don't work. According to Dr. Anthony Fauci, the new booster vaccine should help, but we really won't know until we have nearly 50% of cases somewhere and if we see reinfection rates surging. However, the new vaccine is our best defense and the Pfizer version is available to those over age five. And Moderna is available for those over age six. So one other variant to keep an eye on is XBB. It's a combination of Omicron variants and it's spiking in Asia and Europe and it's reportedly more contagious than previous variants. But we don't know about all of these is how dangerous they are. Although we are seeing some hospitalizations beginning to go up in some European countries, including the UK, which is an often a predictor we use to see what is going to happen here. So are any of these new variants in Ohio and getting back to the dangerous issue? Can you go back to that? How dangerous are these potentially? Yeah, that's the thing. We have to wait until there are more cases. So none of these variants have been listed on the state dashboard yet. BA5 still makes up nearly 87% of Ohio. Ohio cases, but also New York is testing more often for these new variants compared to Ohio, so I would not be surprised if it's already here. And as for that danger, that's what we're waiting to find out. Bottom line, experts will tell those who are vulnerable to be more proactive with that booster shot and even masking when we see a big surge. Hopefully, though, we will not see a big surge, but it's certainly something to keep in mind as the holidays you know, arrive. Yeah, and you were saying the time to get that booster shot is now. Don't wait. Uh, yeah, that's what most yeah. are saying. You know, the best the best defense right now is get your flu shot and your booster shot at least three weeks before Thanksgiving. Okay, Monica Robbins, as always, thank you. Sure.